Okay, in this video, I'm just going to go through question 37. So it's basically uh, importing this file, j8prods.csv, into the database. Um, so I'll just go through that and how to assign the data types. First thing you need to do is create a new database. So just right click on your desktop and go to new um, access. Okay, and there's your database. So then just double click to open it and then you're going to go in and import the file j8prods. So you go to external data. It's a CSV file so that's always um, a text file. You must make sure you're in the import section. There's two sections. This is export and this is import. To get the file into your database you must be in the import section. So I'm just going to click here on text file and then browse for my file which is on the common drive and I'll just open that and OK. Alright so we're in the wizard now to import the data so I can just press next here and then you must make sure it says first you must tick first row contains field names that's really important otherwise you'll not you'll end up not having the field names that you need in your database then if you go next this is where we're going to set the data types for our um, data so if I just go back to the question category country or text code is numeric product is text and so on so we should be able to figure it out from here I can see um, special is boolean and price is currency so I'm just going to go ahead and do those now so category is text country is text you can normally tell by the type of data but obviously you need to make sure you're doing it correct as the question specifies so code is long integer which is number doesn't matter whether you put it just keep it to a long integer actually because if you use just integer sometimes it cuts off the length of the number so it should be long integer product should be text stock should be long integer number reorder should be a number as well price should be set as currency special should be boolean which is yes no and then notes should be text let me just double check i've done that correctly yep that's fine it says make sure that you use these field names so you need to check that the field names are correct which they are you may add another field as a primary key if your software requires it access doesn't require that you add a primary key so when we go to next it, you don't have to have a primary key there just select no if the question says that you must have a primary key then then you would select one of the other two options but in this case it just says you only need to add it if the software requires it so just don't bother um, next and then finish and that's it that should then I'll just close this so here's my table so I'll just open this and just have a look so my data is now imported the next thing you need to do is go into home and design view and then just double check that your field names are the correct and the data types are correct so number long integer and we need to make sure currency is two decimal places now some questions say that currency should be set as euros so you must make sure you read the question you normally have a short paragraph here at the top that tells you that information so you've got to read carefully on this one it doesn't actually say that it needs to be euro so you're just going to set it as currency so it will set as the default for whatever the uh, system is set up as in this case it's pounds so it should be two decimal places so you change that down here okay now because if you look at the order of everything on here um, when I do my screenshot because that's question 38 you need to make sure that you've clicked on price so that you can see its decimal places even though it will show in your report so I would take a screenshot here with price selected all the others you can see their data type from in this section you don't need to see in the field property section below so I'm just going to click on price so I can see that and then open my snipping tool and I will just snip like that and that's fine and then copy that into a word document 
so there's my evidence there um, and you need to make sure your candidate details are there so it will be uh, your name just your name you won't need to put center number um, okay inserting records uh, should be straightforward so I'm not going to go through that because you know how to do that the only thing I will say is once you've uh, imported your data just click on save which is there and then just go to data sheet view obviously when you need to add a new record you just click on this tiny little icon here with the little starburst next to it and that will take you right down to the bottom so you can then type in the new records that you need to add